For years, uh, my dad used to love it. But it's the first time on the ship, though. You? Yeah, just from second time, Lord. So I suppose. A bit boring, though. What made you want to work on this old bastard? Not a lot going on at home. Same people, same attitude. Plus, I couldn't really hold down a normal job. So I just wanted to see if this is something I can do, I suppose. What, so you're looking to maybe have a career? I don't know. Work with like the 
they're going to just give me the crappy jobs, or are they actually going to help me to learn? Like I said, you show them respect, they'll show you respect. If you take the piss first, they'll take the piss. But if you listen and lose your tail, you should be fine. Fair enough. Although you will have to do the crappy jobs from time to time. That's what's expected when you're the new boy. Yeah, I see your point. Well, I'm here to work, so I'll do what I have to. It should be fine. So why don't you have a girl? I don't know. There is a girl, just not a girlfriend. I don't have a girl because I don't like the idea of me keep leaving. Plus, I never really get time to get relationships started. Who's your girl? Oh, she's not mine. Um, she's not anyone's. I doubt she'll be anyone's unless it's from the right family. Like that then? Yeah, I don't care. Can't talk to your best friend if you talk to me. Oh, stop! So, do you think you'll be on the ships all your life? Honestly? They've always been involved in the ships. I just followed in their footsteps. I think when you start getting bigger responsibilities, it'll start to pay off. Do you reckon you'll stick it out? I don't know. I don't really want to say. I don't want to jinx it. See where life takes me. Do you like jokes? Nah, that is a joke. What? Do you want to hear a joke? Uh, yeah, go on then. How does a pirate pay for his peg leg and book? Thank you. 
that location. Sam's gone away on board a ship of light. Pretty work, brave boys, pretty work, I say. Sam's gone away on board a ship of light. What are you reading? You read that a lot. You've read that book before, haven't you? Is it any good? Well, if it wasn't, I wouldn't be reading it, would I?
around me from months at a time. I really struggle. I miss Sally back home, you know? Don't you miss your family? Kids? Nope. But how? I miss my family all the time. You don't even talk, you don't even think about your kids. You don't even talk about them. I don't need to. As long as the money keeps rolling in, I don't need to miss them. God, I'm bored. I wish there was something for me to do, you know? Take my mind off my family. Well, you can read a book. Play cards. There's plenty of things to do on this ship to keep yourself entertained. I play cards enough times to go through my savings three times over. Right. Well, in that case, then, take my book. I don't want to read. Just take it. I the don't want to. Take it. All right. Hmm. What's it about? It's about a man, a man on a ship, and he wants to catch a whale. Sounds a bit boring to me. Well, read it and you'll find out, won't you? Paul Ashmore, some years ago, never mind how long precisely, having little or no money in my purse, and nothing particular to... What in God's name are you doing? I'm reading. I out loud! It's easy for me to read. Like a I don't care. I don't want to bloody hear it. All right. <sighs> now I'm bored. Have you got another book to read? No. I was supposed to be reading that one. You know what? I'm tired. I want to sleep. I'm turning the light off. No, don't do that. I'm reading. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose I do. I suppose the, the saddest thing about it is, is they don't miss me. They don't even want me home. They, they just want me to work and, and put food on the table. This, this is, this is the only work I've ever known, and it means I don't get to see him. And it's not like I can do anything else, because I don't know anything else. I know what you mean. I miss my family too. I don't know. I'm trying to think about it, but that just makes it worse, you know? It's, it's like, it's like when someone tells you not to think about chocolate cake, and then that's all you ever think about. I need a, can I turn the light on?
you know, the typical the gadgets and things. You know, so much so that they're very nice to live in the house and just crowds floating past. I mean, it's quite sad, really. Some branched up abroad to work in the restaurant industry the last I heard. Good luck to you, Nelson. Me. I am unique. And you know, it's, it's funny because sometimes that makes me feel special and, and sometimes it just makes me feel lonely. It's like I look in the mirror and it, it doesn't look like me. I mean, I know it's me, it has to be me, but what I see in the mirror doesn't match the way I see myself. And I wonder sometimes if that means anything. I just try not to look into the mirror too much. I know I am. I, I mean, I'm aware that I exist, but but still, after all of these years, I mean, I'm just not quite sure who I am. I mean, not really. I suppose I was used in a way, without my permission. Men told me where to go, and those same men tied me up to them and made me follow, just chaining me down whenever it suited me best. It's odd, isn't it? You know that you have so much value and worth, and, and you're just being treated like a, a chattel, a thing, an object. intended for my greater purpose, here I am. Just me and my boys. Many of them change year by year, but they still have those same enthusiastic faces, that same look of wonder, the same respect for me that was lacking so early on in my life. I'm, I'm really lucky. It's only in the night when I feel it, when it's cold and dark. Sorry, I'm talking about myself again. Um, there's so much. 
much more to say on the ship. If you would just like to make your way back up there. Say, Captain. Take seat, lads. The main one is drinking. Gentlemen, half an hour ago I received a radio message from Shaw. It was from your mother. with your family when you arrive at Shaw. When can we leave? I've arranged for a replacement crew. They'll be aboard in two days. What do you mean, two days? You expect us to carry on like nothing's happened? Yes. Take some time in your cabins, and then after dinner I expect you to return to your duties. Are you serious? My little sister has just been killed, and you want us to pretend like nothing's happened? Are you fucking Maybe kidding me? Maybe you're talking to you, sailor. Don't be disrespectful. We've got to get home and take care of Mom. There's a funeral to arrange. It's only two days. Do you think you can do that?
that far might be said of the sums of nature, and some would write into the technological age, I think you'd call it, that it dealt with all modern gadgets and things, so much so that they barely see them in person, just the clouds smoke past them, all that sad really. Some of the others branched out working in the restaurant industry last I heard. Good luck to them, I say. Me. I'm me. It's funny, you know. Sometimes that makes me feel special. Sometimes it just makes me feel lonely. I look in the mirror occasionally. It doesn't look like me. I know it's me, it has to be me, but somehow what I see in the mirror doesn't match the way I see myself. I wonder sometimes if that means anything. I try not to look in the mirror too much. I know that I am. I mean, I'm aware that I exist. But still, after all these years, I don't know who I am. Not really. I suppose I was used in a way, without my permission. Men told me where to go, and those same men tied me to them and made me follow, chaining me down wherever suited them best. It's odd, isn't it? Knowing that you have value and worth, and yet being treated like a chattel, a thing, an object. Time to reflect. Yeah, I've had a lot of that over the years. When I lost my job, I had nowhere to go, nothing to do. I suppose I didn't have any value anymore. So I was thrown onto the scrap heap. Out of sight, out of mind, I suppose. These days, it's just easier for people to shut you away so they don't have to deal with you when you become an um, inconvenience. All I remember of that time was the boredom and loneliness. And the cold damp, of course. And then I suppose you could say things changed again. So strange. We age and eventually we accept that to our ears. We spend on our own, waiting for our end. I'd reconcile myself to rotten away on my own. Suddenly, out of nowhere, my boys. I didn't know they were my boys when they came for me, of course. They were just an intrusion, making a crippled old woman to remind her of the things she once had and lost. I thought they were annoyance. Silly, silly woman. Sometimes, sometimes I give you a second chance. And that's what my boys were. My second chance. They took me out of the bottom hard and let me in. They cleaned me, they clothed me, and now they lamp on me. Sometimes I wonder if what I have to offer them is worth so much of their time and trouble. And then I look around. Two evenings a week, some weekends. It's like they're visited by people who know who love me. Even if they do call me names. Old bastard, one of them calls me. But how can I take offence? His tone tells me that all I need to know. That and his actions. Deeds, not words. That's how you really be loved. And in his own way, he loves me. And I love him for it. He's had to make difficult decisions to keep me here, sending parts of my body to the highest bidder. I wonder sometimes if that breaks his heart more than it not mine. I rather think it does sometimes. And so, missing my two organs, no longer fit for my intended purpose, here I am. Just me and my boys. Many of them change year after year, but they still have the same enthusiastic faces, the same look of wonder, the same respect for me that was so lacking in my earlier life. I'm lucky, really. It's only at night when I feel it. It's just me, alone, in the dark and waiting. But at least I find
Oh, you're less man. Talk to me. Look, you can't talk to your best man out here, who can you talk to anything? She's left me. She's left me. She was acting differently the last time I was ashore. I was going to say something, but Lottie was around the whole time. What's going to happen with Lottie? It's just that, I'm not the man. Come on, mate. You've got to see her when you're ashore at least. Oh, she's better off with that. What can I have that? Everything. Come on, mate. You've got to try. No. Look, Tom, I, I know what you're trying to do. And thank you, I'm on your side. It's not right. Look, Tom, I'm These past few years we've never fallen out. It's just this job, this shit. The only reason why I'm here is to put food on her table and a roof over her head. If it was up to me, I wouldn't even be here. Could you imagine life without me? Be a miserable old soul, piss off. You don't have to do nothing. 
Just stay here. Don't you get fed up of him, though? Think about it, mate. All the bullshit you have to part with out there, we don't have to deal with none of it. All we have to worry about is getting the job done. It's a pretty good life to me, mate.
myself to wanting alone when suddenly, out of nowhere, my boys. I didn't know that they were my boys and they first came to me, of course. I thought they were an intrusion. Waking up, a crippled old woman, just to remind her of the things that she once had.